Hey guys, what's going on? So Steve and I have an 07 Explorer Limited in the shop here, and we're getting ready to, to do a rear stabilizer link. We have our 2007 Explorer, and we're doing a stabilizer link. As you can see, it's broken right here. So I'm, I'm squeezing the plastic part with some vice grips, and I got a 16 millimeter on the bottom. And to me, this is an OEM one. So I'm trying to take this off without cutting it. I'm gonna have to grab onto this sleeve. See if I can get the sleeve to... Not rotate. Yeah. These can be a pain if you have to cut them. And it's a lot of plastic. I don't really want to use a torch. Sometimes we cut them up the sawzall. ratchet on here and snap this one. Let's see if we can get the top one to come off right now. Top one's a 15 millimeter. Okay, so that's kind of good. Kind of good. So let's grab this rubber here. Let's see if we can get this one to come off. Okay. Right, that's good news. Now we're gonna get a breaker bar for this bottom one. We're gonna squeeze this one. Okay, so this is coming out. There you go. We're going to grab this with the vice grips and we're going to put a big breaker bar on and see if we can get it to snap. Um, that would be the easiest scenario for us. If this thing snapped right off. So, easy is the direction we're going to. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> <clears throat> we like easy once in a while. All right, let me get the big breaker bar. I think something's gonna snap. Well, something's gonna snap. Joy. <laughs> Don't you worry, something's gonna snap. <laughs> yeah, the plastic snapped. You freaking. Well, but it's turning. But it's so turning, yeah. If I can get the plastic off of it. You can grab that metal rod. Yeah. Well, I don't wanna really grab the metal rod. See how it just started twisting? Yep. So we're, we're trying to get this to, to to come down now. So we're gonna try and get this plastic off of this. So you can the grab gun, the metal rod. Maybe able to use the gun now. Okay, let's try and get some of this plastic off on the top. <clears throat> pieces but that's all right I'm gonna try and push up on this as it's spinning <clears throat> Bees by bees by bees. Yeah, no shit. I just don't want to torch it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't believe you. No, not in the shop. As little fire as possible. Yeah. Right there, so yeah. Okay, so we got our bolt down with our thing. Just gonna get the surface a little clean here. 
And we're gonna go get it set up on new bushing. I see what you did there. I thought you were gonna break the head off the bolt. Yeah, so it, it already broke. Yeah. But the sleeve is what was holding it on. Yep. And you know, you can get in here with a sawzall and cut this if you want. Yeah. You know, this is probably the least. Yeah, it was pretty quick. So, all right, so I'm gonna get the new one all greased up. We just greased up the new one. Got our new bush I'm gonna slide down. And now we're gonna go and put the rest of this together in place. And we gotta bring all these pieces over. I'm gonna come up through the hole. And then I gotta get a bushing. And then I'm gonna put a washer on. I'm gonna take my metal rod sleeve, put the sleeve on, pushing everything up. Sometimes you're gonna get to the point here where we might have to pry up on this with the pry bar to get this thing to catch. My hands are greasy right now. So let's get this on here. This on here. And so we're gonna to have to push up on this bar and I'm gonna get a little pry bar and set it up here and try and pry up on this so I can roll this down underneath it right here so that it'll fit. And this will stay in place for right now until I get the bar. All right, so I just got it on my rotor and I, I very gently have to pry up. So I'm gonna push down on this threaded rod a little bit here so it's kind of flush and then get that in there. And now I can push up on the bolt and it comes up through. Yeah. Okay. We've got our other grommet going on. These have a tapered edge to them and you want the tapered edge always going towards your, your eyelid there. So you get that up enough. And then sometimes you gotta pull down a little bit to get the nut started. And I'll tell you, I've done this before. I've taken the nut, just put it on the, just to suck this down a little bit. And I think we're gonna do that here. And then we'll suck it down a little bit and then we'll take it off. And this is gonna seat in the holes better. And uh, then we'll be able to put our washer on. 16 or 14, whatever you prefer. Just gonna suck this down a little bit. And don't suck it down into the rubber like I just did. <laughs> All right, so we got the washer on here and we sucked it down a little bit beforehand. And now we gotta just put this on. So if you have a hard time getting this started, you can put your washer on top of this and then just suck it down and it seats this and then you'll have enough room to catch it. So now we've got enough room to catch this thing. We're gonna snug it up. Okay, and it's got a locking plastic thing in there so you don't have to kill this thing. So I'm comfortable with the squish that I got there. It doesn't have to bottom out. And the other stabilizer link is fine on the other side. We're only replacing the one that's bad. Everything's lubed up and that'll be it.